Enter. Pardon me for the intrusion, your royal highness. You mentioned that you wish to question the prisoner yourself as soon as we finish searching her for weapons or magical items. Where would you like to receive her? Bring her to me here, in my chambers, and then leave. I wish to speak with her alone. Your Royal Highness, is that wise? Do you dare question your prince? You swore to be obedient to me. Thus, you do exactly as ordered. Is that understood? Or must I make a show to establish my dominance here in this place? It is a tedious waste of my time, but I will do so if I must. You know this. No, my prince. Forgive my audacity. I will fetch the prisoner for you at once. Excellent. Now go and do not tarry. My patience is already thin. Understood, your royal highness. Enter. Bring in my lovely would-be assassin. Seat her at my tea table and unbind her wrists. And do not look at me like that. I am quite capable of handling an unarmed human female on my own if the need shall arise. Now do as I say, and then leave my chambers at once. I will send for you when I need you again. Yes, your royal highness. Over here, prisoner. Now sit down. I will cut the binding. You best behave now. If the prince must subdue you, you will not like the severe consequences that will follow. Now then, my dear lady, we are alone at last. Tell me something before we get started. How many other elves saw you besides that one guard? Why do I want to know? Because I am your prince, and I am demanding to know this information. That is all you need to know. Now answer me. Four guards. That you know of? Good. Good. You will point them out to me later. I will require their discretion for my plans to work. We will get to that very soon. But first... Let me just say how very impressive you are. I mean, you totally infiltrated my palace staff. And you've been posing as one of my personal mates for months. That, my human beauty, is quite incredible feat of subterfuge. Never once did you ever draw suspicion. At least, not until you decided the time was right to try and kill me. Unluckily for you, I have magical traps in my chambers. I designed myself to trigger upon such intestines, manifesting with those within this place. You want to know why I have not already ordered her executed? Well, because I find you fascinating. You have such an alluring fire to your eyes. I don't see too often. Plus, I'm curious about what drove you to such lengths to blend in for months just to get a chance at killing me and other things, but we'll get to that soon enough. I burned down the human forms on the outer edges of my kingdom, and this resulted in your aging parents starving to death. My dear, I did not do this. Why would I attack out of my own resources? You think I like to torment humans that much? Oh no, my beautiful human, no. The culprit you truly seek is my older brother, Meridian. He rules the kingdom bordering mine, and we quite honestly hate each other. Although I hate him, quite fairly to be honest, he's a malevolent and evil brute. He used to torture small animals when we were young. 
You know, mother and father were always at their wits' end with him. I couldn't believe it when they still give him territory to rule over. Yes, my dear, to answer your question quite simply, you put in all that effort just to try and murder the wrong prince. However, what if I were to tell you that your chances at vengeance were not completely dashed? Not only that, but I have intentions to change your life forever. Intrigued, are you? Good. You should be. Now then, down to business. It is my brother's birthday this coming week. And being royalty means that I must still keep up pretenses. For the populace, if not anything else. But anyway, I have invited my wretched brother for a ball in his honor. He will be staying here in the, my palace for the entire weekend of his birthday. You may be wondering how you come into play in all of this. Well, I'm going to make arrangements for your attempted murder of myself to be completely covered up. This will resume your guise as my personal maid here in this palace. And then when my brother arrives for his birthday celebration, I'm going to loan my personal maid to him for the duration of his stay as a show of brotherly love or whatever people with good sibling relationships call it. I don't bloody know, but back to the point, yes. You catch on quick. I like that very much. Yes. I am giving you the opportunity to kill him, poison him, slit his throat while he sleeps. I don't rightly care how you do it. I just want the bastard dead. And then, I want to claim his territory for myself. And don't you worry. I already have a plan to cover up the murder. Well, at least as far as you go. There's a dangerous prisoner in my dungeons that I am going to claim escaped and murdered Viridian and then was recaptured. He'll be executed, as was already the plan for his actual crimes, and that will be the end of that. Yes, I did mention intentions to change your life in a quite large way. My dear, I like you. Over the time you've been here, you've actually gotten me to crack a legitimate grin a couple times with your witty sarcasm and charm. You've guts, and you're not afraid to get your hands dirty to achieve something. You are absolutely perfect for me. I have no need for some high-born elven lady that would soon throw herself on a pike before she would ever risk breaking a precious nail or getting a hair out of place. That sort of woman would bore me to no end. What am I saying exactly? Right to the point. I like that as well. Well, my dear, I intend to may marry you. And make you my princess. You will marry me and we will rule over both territories. As far with far more grace than my bastard brother was ever capable. True, there may be some that get a bitter taste in their mouths with having a human become their princess. But I don't much care. They will get over it and you will just have to show them over time, what you were truly made of. I am confident that you will earn their respect and their reverence. And any that might get some ideas. Well, I know how to take care of them. So, what do you think? Want to help murder my wicked brother and then become a princess? Marvelous. I knew you'd be a smart woman that recognized a golden opportunity or two when they saw them. Lean forward. We'll seal this with a kiss.